Hello King David students. It's been a while that you haven't been at school. I'd like to just take the opportunity of saying hello to you. It's uh, difficult to be doing long distance learning but I'm sure all of you are beginning to get used to it. I just want to take the opportunity of uh, sharing a message with you with regard to, to Pesach. As I'm sure you all know the Jews who were living in Egypt at the time were really on top of the world. Joseph had made Egypt a, a very, very rich country during the years of the famine. And the Jews were really doing well. And all of a sudden, things turned upside down in a very short period of time. The, the Torah tells us, A new king arose in Egypt. He had forgotten the contribution that the Jews had made. And very, very quickly, the Jews became enslaved. It's interesting to see how things can change so quickly, not only thousands of years ago, but even today in our times. Who would have believed just a few weeks ago, possibly a few months ago, that here in Johannesburg we would be sitting in a situation with people not being able to come to school, not to continue with our regular lives. When we say not to take things for granted, we, we often just talk about it, but this is really an event that we can be part of and actually experience ourselves where things have changed so, so quickly. How do we respond to this? So Torah gives us guidance, and if ever there's been an example of how we can turn to our ancient traditions to see how to relate to modern times, this is really an opportunity. There's an interesting verse in the Torah, in the book of the Barim, that's the last of the five books in the Torah, the book of Deuteronomy, where it states as follows, that a person has to take extremely good care of themselves. So what does that mean? Our response is twofold. Firstly, we need to follow medical advice. There's no such a thing as, let's not take advice, let's just carry on life as usual. The situation is serious and we have to follow the experts with regard to, to medical advice. We have a responsibility, our bodies were given to us from Hashem and we have a responsibility to do whatever we can to look after ourselves. So that is the one response. And of course the second response in addition to looking after ourselves from a medical point of view is the power of tefillah, the power of prayer. It is a time where we need to focus our tefillot, we need to focus our prayers with regard to asking Hashem that this difficult time, not only for us here in South Africa, in Johannesburg, but indeed it's a, it's a time where the world is going through difficulties, that this difficult time should pass as soon as possible, and that life should return to normal. I'm looking forward to arranging a, a real big party when, when we return to school. Please God, that will be soon. And I just want to take the opportunity of, of wishing you and your families a very, very happy Pesach. It's not going to be a regular Pesach, but we have to do the best that we can under the circumstances to make it happy, to engage with our families and to really experience the Seder this year in a different way that we've always experienced in the past. To all of you and to your parents, Chak Sameach.